Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are reviewing a brand, or I guess a product from a brand. It is the Static Nails press on nails so I did a review on the glamnetic ones and you guys actually really liked that video so I thought it would be fun to do a review on this one I mentioned in that video that I had gotten some of these and some of you were asking what I thought in comparison between the two and I honestly haven't tried this one yet so I thought why not do it on camera for you guys and give you my first impression so that's what today's video is all about before we get into all of that fun stuff please 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 give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you love makeup, if you love these kinds of things, if you love tanning, just all the most fun things to talk about, then definitely make sure that you're subscribed. You're getting three videos a week, so you do not wanna miss out on that, and it just means the world to me, so thank you so much. But if you wanna see my review of the static press-on nails, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, so I got two different sets of nails from Static Nails. I got the, I think this is the Conjure, Conjure Almond. And then I also got the, what are these? Sway White Almond. Beautiful, beautiful nails. But for today's video, I am doing these black ones and I'll get into why in a second. But basically, Last time I reviewed press on nails, I did the Glamnetic ones. I reviewed the like French tips. They were really, really, really cute. And they were like the short almond, which I loved because at the moment they did feel really long, but I got used to them and they were actually really nice. Like they weren't too long at all. And I feel like if I were to get fake nails, I'd probably do like that length again. But then the next week, once those came off, I did another set from Glamnetic. It was like those like pinkish ones that I showed in that video. And those I didn't realize were medium, not short. So they were longer than the ones that I did the video on. And those were just so hard to get by with. Like I felt like I was like struggling. I haven't had long nails in such a long time. And I just felt like those were so hard to function with and they were breaking a lot easier because they are longer. So I am a little bit nervous about these to be totally honest because I think these are a similar size lengthwise to those medium ones that I had from Glamnetic. And I looked for like a short almond option on Static Nails and I didn't really see anything that said like short almond. So I have a feeling that these are going to be kind of long, which is why I'm choosing the black set because if I do think that they're too long after like testing them out for a little bit, I might just try to like reshape them into like shorter square nails because like I said, those medium length ones were so hard to function with. So that's why I'm doing the black ones and the black ones are really, really pretty. There's like one sparkly black and then the rest are like this really pretty shiny black so super excited but i have it pulled up on the static nails website so again these are the conjure almond shaped nails and they go for 16 dollars so for the description it just says Get the salon look without the time, damage, or commitment. Static's award-winning reusable pop-on nails give you a perfect non-damaging manicure in seconds for a fraction of the salon cost. Wear them weeks straight or a few days at a time, you decide. These edgy black nails with glitter accents can be removed, reapplied, painted, and even reshaped for full customization, which I love. And then it says in the kit, 24 universal nails in 12 sizes, fits average petite and larger nail sizes, and includes four glitter accents, static nails, non-damaging glue, instructions, buffer, and file. Length is medium, so again, I'm a little bit nervous about that. Shape is almond, which I love. Opacity is full coverage, and it's vegan and cruelty-free. And then for the application here, it just says apply to clean natural nails. I have that. And then just choose the best size. Apply the glue to the back of the static nail. Apply a generous layer to your natural nail. Align under the cuticle and press down with your thumb. Hold and squeeze firmly for 25 or more seconds. 
and then customize the nail length and shape which is optional and then just repeat that for all of your nails and it says the more glue you apply the longer the nails will stay on but just be careful with the glue because it can get a little bit messy and if you get it on like your finger and then press onto your nail with it it'll take the color off so be super careful and if you do too much glue it gets like around your nail and it looks kind of funny so just be careful of that i learned my lesson and it says don't use lotion or oil before applying obviously i didn't my nails are just like completely dry and honestly kind of gross looking so i'm ready to bring them back to life so again i am using conjure almond and we are just opening this set up i'm really hoping this turns out good you guys i'm honestly nervous about this one so this is what they look like when the lid is off like i'm already so obsessed with these sparkly ones and i really really hope they fit my nails so let's see oh, oh i love this so instead of like putting the extras in a little bag they both come in like a little tray i don't want to show you guys too much because it's all gonna come out but yeah you get two trays 12 nails in each one and then you get a nail file and a nail glue. I feel like the nail glue is the same for like all press on nails to be honest. And same with this little nail file. I feel like I had the same one for the Glamnetic nails, but that's okay, I like it. I think it's really good. So now I think, well, why don't I just file the top layer honestly of my nails just to make sure that everything is sticking. All right, I just did a quick little messy file down and now I'm going to see which ones fit on my nails and I'll just like briefly show you guys that, like a couple nails and then we'll get into the fun part, which is gluing them on. So let's see. All right, I picked my sizes. I'm hoping that they're right. I'm gonna be using all four of the glitter nails because they fit on my index finger and on my ring finger. So we're gonna be blingy. But I will say right off the bat, I don't like that this doesn't include like a cuticle pusher or a little alcohol pad because with the Glamnetic ones, those things were included. That I really, really did like about it because it's just like the extra thing that you need to make the manicure perfect. So I just wish that this had that. Whatever though, we are gonna start applying now. So let's just get into the process and then I will give you guys thoughts right after. So here we go. All right, they're applied and I am just gonna shape them really quick and then we are gonna talk. Guys, I am actually obsessed with these. I did kind of, not the best job like some of them are kind of crooked and i look funny because i'm like pale right now give me a break but yeah not as long as i was expecting them to be which is the most exciting part to be totally honest with you because i think the ones that i did last week were longer especially like when i had nail polish on them because i like they were this light pink color but you could see through to my actual nail so i painted them red and I feel like the red just really made like how long they were stand out even more. And I'm just like 
not a fan of that long of nails on myself so i just couldn't get used to it this though i feel like is not as long like literally just looking at the back of my nails like this i can tell that they're not as long so i feel like medium almond for static is a closer match to the short from glamnetic than it is to the medium from glamnetic which makes me very very happy like look at this be beautiful these four are literally giving me life like look at this i know some of them are crooked please ignore but wow 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 i'm in love like i'm so mad at myself for doing this index finger so crooked because you could so tell but whatever maybe once it falls off i could fix it <laughs> but i feel like for the most part i did a pretty good job and like the size matches are definitely there they match they look good and I'm super happy with it. They feel very sturdy too. Like they don't feel like they're gonna pop off in two seconds, but we'll see about that throughout the week. For a first impression though, I'm obsessed. I do wish it came with more because the Glamnetic ones did come with the alcohol pad and the little cuticle pusher. And those were like, I think 15 bucks. These are 16 and they didn't come with those two things. So I, if there was one thing I could say to add into these, it would be that because those do come in handy. The glue though and the little nail file are the same. I really liked both and I really like these nails. I'm really pleasantly surprised at how they turned out and wow, I feel like I'm just gonna be like showing off all week because they look really, really pretty and perfect in time for the winter. I just love like dark nails for the winter. So I'm feeling this. Yeah, I love, I do think they're worth it just off of a first impression like Again, these aren't as long as I thought they were going to be, which to me is a very good thing. And the shape is really, really nice. I'm like so into the almond shape right now, but I, I think any shape that you get from their website is going to look good, to be honest with you. This glitter is beautiful. Just everything about these, like it's like really well put together. I'm really happy with it. And now I'm honestly excited to use these because now I know that it's not too long. So... I'm gonna have some fun with them. I do think they're worth the $16, honestly. Like you get nails that you could reuse and that last hopefully throughout the week. And they just look like you got a fresh manicure at the salon, which is the best part. So definitely it's a yes for me, just for a first impression. I think they're amazing. That's it for today's video. A very successful one. I'm super excited about these. You'll probably be seeing them in the next few videos while I film throughout the week so yay that's all i've got for you guys for today so i hope you guys enjoyed this one please make sure to give this a huge thumbs up for me if you did enjoy comment down below let me know what you guys think about these specific nails let me know what you guys think about static nails in general if you have tried them just give us your thoughts we all want to hear it so comment and please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel i post again three times a week so don't miss out but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next one